Hello, hello, hello. Okay, I'm here to go over my Jill's makeup staples. Um, so again, depending on what kind of budget you have um, at the time, but I'm gonna go over things that I feel are kind of important to have if you are going for a, hmm, what kind of look would it be? I guess kind of like a natural kind of look, but with a little bit of coverage and yeah. Okay, so let's go on with that. I'm gonna invite some of you guys to come. Let's see, Diana, I know Cheryl loves these, so yeah. Okay, so let's start off with, do I feel that primer and setting spray are really good staples to have in your makeup repertoire? Yes, I do. Do I feel that you need to have this stuff right at the beginning? Um, no, I don't. I think that if you're gonna build up your kit, uh, meaning your makeup kit, um, I think these are really great products. I, I really like them. I like how they go on. I like how they feel. I like what they do. I like them. Um, I really like the setting spray a lot. It does not stink like other setting sprays that I've had do and it doesn't leave like a weird film on your face, which again, um, I really just didn't like that in another one that I used. Okay, so let's go over like my favorites for foundation. Uh, let's grab them all that I have. And then I think that's it. The only one I think I'm missing for foundation is the spray foundation. So the options that you have out of what I have. So obviously you can live without spray foundation, right? Um, if you are going for a very neutral, casual, don't really want to see the foundation on my face, but I just wanted to kind of fix or enhance what I have going on. I personally would do the BB Flawless. It, I get the shade Honey for my face, which again, I can't work with this lighting. It, it just is, it is what it is. Um, it's the Facebook Live videos. When I do a regular video, the lighting is fantastic. So I don't even know what to say. Um, let's see if this helps at all. Oh, a little bit, there you go. I love that light. Okay, so. Um, you know what? There's one to start off with. Get a really good mirror with lights. If you, that's a major staple for you to have for makeup. And hopefully I will remember to write this down in notes. If I brought up a piece of paper, I actually would have. Do I have paper back there? No. Okay, so, um, get a really good mirror with good lighting. That is major, like major. Okay, if you are going for a very basic coverage... I'm not gonna wear makeup today. I'm just gonna show you though. So, see how that just kinda changes my skin tone just a little bit, not a ton, um, but it just adds a little something. Then this is the stick foundation, right? And this is gonna be a medium to full coverage depending on how much you put on. So let's try it with this one. See what it's like with the powder brush. Yeah, see, like you're getting more of a, um, uh, a cover, a coverage basically, right? Okay, so let's go and do this really quickly. Um, this is the liquid foundation. This again is gonna be more of a, I put way too much on, uh, full coverage, okay? And again, you can go for the light coverage if you only put a little bit on. Okay, um, so yeah. Oh, and then the pressed powder. So let's just say I wanna use this as, let's see, as foundation. Uh, there we go. Okay. There we go. Okay, I have showed BB cream, light, 
coverage, okay? But works great underneath liquid, stick, uh, pressed powder. Works great. Love, love, love me some BB cream. It is my favorite foundation. Um, yes. Okay, so then this is the liquid foundation. This is the stick foundation. And then all along here is the powder foundation. So if you, I wish you guys were on here so that you could um, ask me questions. But so if you were wanting a natural looking makeup look, I would either get, depending if you're oily at all, um, I would get a pressed powder. If you have a good amount of moisture in your skin, um, I really like the BB cream because it's a multitasking, hydrating, tinted BB cream. So it gives you a bit of color without being really obvious. I do think that these are really great products and one of them should be your staple, okay? If you choose to not get one of these, you are for sure gonna want some sort of bronzer. Now, we are out of our bronzers right now, but there's lots of great bronzers out there. Um, what I do with this bronzer, here, I'll wipe off my brush a bit, is if I just want to go and tint my skin a little bit, I'll just go and put bronzer all over my face, right? It just gives you like this tanned look without being obvious, Again, it's not obvious, just adds a bit of sheen. Um, so if you are not gonna get one of these, then you for sure are gonna look for a bronzer. So personally, I feel like everybody should at least have one of these, okay? Because you want something to go over your skin. Now this is our lightest bronzer. I'm interested to see when and what our new bronzer is gonna look like. I'm sure they're gonna have a bronzer. We just, you know what? I don't even know what June's kudos is. We don't know until you guys actually know, which is interesting. Um, okay, so let's go with other staples. Another really good staple to have is a good brush of sort, like some sort of a good brush. You know, we have the unique brushes, um, this is from Luxie and Tarte. These are three brands that I have enjoyed that I own. Um, I think they're all great. I think they all do different things. Um, I don't have any other types of the Luxie brushes than the three that I've shown on my last video. Um, so again, it depends on what you're looking for. So far, I've been happy with uh, all my unique brushes. So there you go. Another staple I do feel like you should have is an eyelash comb. I really probably should have written this down before I came on, but then I thought I would go live. Loosey goosey, you know, keep it all interesting. <laughs> okay, another staple that I feel you should have is some sort of a blush. It adds a nice hit of color and while ours may look like they're strong, they're actually not. And then remember how to put them on. So tap, swirl, tap. There you go. See, not dark. You can get it darker if you want, but they're not dark, okay? So this is Sisterly, which is sold out right now, and Sweet, which is sold out right now. Um, they're very popular, obviously. This is sweet. And then I'll show you sisterly. See how they're similar. Uh, I do think a good blush is important. Um, then again, you're also gonna need a blusher brush, right? So a tapered blusher brush is best. I do like a tapered brush more than just um, a tapered. No. Tapered. What did I say this one was? Angled. I don't know. Angled blush or brush. I do like more than this one, right? Because this one you can really only go that way. And this one you can pat it on. And it just gives more of a natural look. Okay? So, we've done the foundation. We've talked blush. 
Um, if you are a very oily skinned person or you work in a kitchen where you're over very hot areas, uh, a setting powder is going to be really key for you. You're going to put it. So there we go. You go use this brush, tap off a lot of your product. Okay. And you put it wherever you really perspire, wherever you have a lot of grease hitting you just wherever, and then you sweep it off and that powder kind of bakes into your skin. If you are very, very oily, you're gonna go take a knife, pop off this top, take a beauty blender, spray it with your setting spray, okay? And then you're gonna dunk it right into that powder, tap it, and really bake. And then that's really, really gonna set your skin, which then again sets your makeup. So that's really great if you're a very oily person, if you work in a kitchen um, where you're gonna be working over hot stoves and everything like that, um, yeah. So, all right, uh, let's see, some other staples. Some other staples. A good eye brush. Uh, let me show you some that I really like so far. And then, let's see, okay. Let's go with a good eye brush. Uh, something to go in your crease. So I like the fluffy crease brush. You could always also use the large shader here. Um, you could go ahead and do your whole eyelid with this. You can really get into your um, crease with it. I do like the blending brush to really go and smooth everything together. This brush, works also you can go ahead and do your whole lid you can do your crease you won't get it as well as with the fluffy crease brush in my personal opinion and that is just how i have found that my makeup has applied um but you can go ahead and go do your whole area another really great part to have on a brush is an angled part here so you could do your eyeliner um and then you can also kind of buff it out here. You could, nah, I don't know if I like this for the crease. I'd have to try it just as the crease brush. Um, hmm. Actually here, why not? I'll wash my face after this. So let's take palette two. Okay. Let's see. I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do dark. All right. I took Perplex, which is like a dark gray, and I'm gonna try this as my crease brush. Okay. And I'm picking a very, very dark color for a reason because I really want you guys to see just how it looks. And I don't have a face cloth. What's up with me? Oh, there we go. Phew, phew, I was getting worried. Okay. Now I'm gonna take my fluffy crease brush. I'm gonna go with the same color, okay? Swirl it, tap it. And I'm gonna show you guys just the difference that you get. So swirl in the corner, bring it down, okay? All right, so as you can see, when I used it with this brush, it was very, very dark, okay? When you use it with the fluffy crease brush, you're really able to get into that crease. So there is a difference, okay? Each brush really does do a different thing. Um, see if I can wipe any of this off and show you. No. All right. I uh, just want to go in, actually, here we go. Take this. This is our cleansing stick. I'm just gonna go wipe off my eyes. I'm gonna show you guys. There we go. There we go, okay. So let's see what this one looks in the crease with the shade Perplexed, a very dark shade, okay? See it all kind of just clumped in there. So really, there is a difference, you guys. There really is. And sometimes doing these side-by-sides really does show 
the difference. There we go. And see, the Fluffy Crease Brush so far has been the best for building up that crease color. Every other brush I used, I used three brushes total, really built it up too much where you would have to work so hard uh, blending that off. There we go. And then wipe this off. I gotta be careful not to wipe too much with my face cloth. I don't wanna hurt my skin. Okay. Um, yeah, so brushes, everybody. Brushes make a difference. So if you were just going to do a one all over color on your eyes and not really do anything else, you just need like some sort of a fluffy brush. So you could go for the blending brush. You could do, go and use this brush. So I'll show you these two. All right, let's go with, uh, let's use the blending brush first for the shade Blissful, which is this shade. Yeah, Blissful right there. Okay, swirl it, tap it, and we're gonna go all over. Okay, and done. All right, now let's go in with Blissful. Make sure this is all empty, yep. Gonna go in Blissful with this brush. Swirl, tap. See? There is a difference, you guys. All right, there you go, see? Which brush did what? So if you're looking for a really light, kinda just really being able to blend it on there and blend out your colors, I would go for the blending brush more than this brush. Wow, huge difference. Okay, um, all right. So, oh, I gotta be honest guys, so far this is winning for me, these two brushes the most. Um, and then I would want some sort of an angled brush for um, doing the eyeliner ones, okay? I'm not gonna lie, that's what I would like. So I would do these three, um, or I really do like this brush from Quo, some sort of an angled eyeliner brush. It's up to you. Whatever floats your boat for what look you're going for. Um, I do not think that eyebrows are a, a staple for a basic kind of makeup um, book, but, well, repertoire, whatever. Um, but I do think that they really do add a lot. But is it my first item I would get? No. No, I would not. Okay. So we have done foundation at this point. We have talked about blush at this point. We have discussed brushes at this point. Um, let's talk eyeshadow colors. Okay. You are going to want some sort of a color that is going to give you, um, a nice neutral look. So you're going to want something that is neutral. So be it, uh, Diction Palette 4, whereas this is a neutral color. It's a very light color. Um... One of these two is a neutral kind of color. And then palette six, Calm is a matte light pink. Lofty is a neutral kind of color. Uh, you're gonna wanna have some sort of a color. And then if you wanna build on it a little bit, um, get another color for sure. And then a way to really bring your eye up even if you just have one color on, is to have the black eyeliner, okay? This to me is a staple. Hi, Tina. I am going over makeup staples. Um, so it is a bit of a long video, but rambly. Just because I'm showing you also, like you missed the part where I went and I showed which brush really works better in the crease. And if and when you watch this on the replay, you'll see the big difference, really big difference. I should do more, um, just do like little spurts of it though. 
but this black eyeliner is amazing. It is so smooth. Like, look, I was so lightly, lightly touching. Okay, and let me see if I kept my other black eyeliner to do a test. So I don't wanna show you guys what it is, but whatever. See, I'm going light and it's not going on there, okay? It, it's just, it doesn't go on as well. It just doesn't. I'm sorry, I have yet to find any eyeliners or lip liners that glide on as well as Uniques do. You just saw that test. I used, I don't wanna show you guys, cause I don't wanna be rude to other companies, right? But I have bought many, many black eyeliners and they do not go on as well as this goes on. Like it really, really glides on. So that would be a staple for me. Uh, here, I'll use my cleansing stick. Get this off. Okay. And there we go. Perfect. That cleansing stick is good. This is from Unique also. I have yet to figure out how to really use it with my mascara to take it off at nighttime because I don't know what cloth I'm supposed to use with it. But yeah, okay. So, black eyeliner is a staple. One of those is a staple. I think honestly, a blush. You need to have a blush. A good brush. Let's see, one of these ones. Again, good brushes are staples. Okay, you won't go wrong with by buying a good brush. Um, a good eyeshadow that lasts long. I have other brands that, um, again, I don't want to show you, but I'm telling you, this one does not stay on as long. It just does not. Okay. It, it's a, it's an expensive brand. It's a brand you could buy at Sephora, but it does not stay on as long. And in fact, I really should do a day where I do one eye and one color and then or one brand and another eye and the other brand i really should actually i'm gonna leave that out because maybe i'll do that just to go and show you guys um i don't personally feel like lipstick is a staple for me but i do like lip color um so lip gloss which again we're selling out like crazy because they are reformulating them. So they're going to come back even better. But our lip glosses are not sticky already. So they're already not sticky. So you guarantee the new ones are not going to be sticky. Okay. And don't be afraid of what the lip gloss kind of looks like because it comes out so different on your lips. Like you would think that this would be dark, right? This is lovesick. It looks like it would be dark. It's not. It's so nice. Okay. Look how nice that is. Oh, it's so nice. Not sticky at all. Okay, so let's take that off. A good lip liner is going to be a godsend for you because it can help you change all your lip colors. But I just wiped that off, so now my lips are a little dry. A little bit of lip gloss on okay so now i'm gonna go and put on pouty okay fill in your lip okay fill in your lip then let's go with a lip liner or a lip gloss let's go lovable okay and Okay, so that one has lip liner. Well, since your mother and father already bought their adjoining plots, it shouldn't be that expensive. How much is not expensive? Let's see the white rose. See how it changes? No, I'm all up in your grill with my lip colors. No lip liner, lip liner. So you can have two products, okay? And then you can get like three different looks with it. What did I do with my pouty? Oh, there it is. Okay, so you could have two products, a lip gloss and a lip liner. And again, both of these are all retiring, but they're bringing them out in a new formulated uh, recipe kind of thing. But you can go and have this and have three different looks. You could have one look, 
two looks, three looks, okay? Just to go and show you. And then, if you want to throw in a liquid, liquid lipstick or a lip stain um, or a lipstick, so you could have three products and just amplify how many different looks you have with just three products. So let's just say we have three products, okay? So we have upscale. So this would be one look, two looks, three looks, four looks, five looks. What is this one? Six looks. How many have I done so far? Like three products can give you how many different looks with just three products. I think that's pretty awesome. And then, yeah. So if you have a lot of um, discoloration in your face, I think it would be really, hey Cheryl, I'm going over makeup staples. I hope you do rewatch the video because I did show some pretty funny stuff about uh, different brushes and uh, the looks that I had on there were really funny. Um, if you do have a really blotchy skin, um, number one, go on a good skincare regimen. So important. Get that facial brush, start on a new skincare regimen, um, moisturize. Even if you have oily skin, you still do need to moisturize. It could be with the rose water, or if you choose to go with another company, that's fine. Um, but just take care of your skin and make sure that you are getting everything that you do need to have like if you're trying to fight certain things then get those products okay but let's just say you do have really oily skin uh or a lot of marks on your skin or you do have really dark under eye circles um concealer is really really good to have and then you could go and do like full coverage with concealer um but right now we're just we're doing staples for just you know I just, I really think that one of these is important. A foundation of some sort. You can use bronzer as foundation. Um, as long as you are okay with it being like a tanned look. If you don't like tan, you're not going to want that. You're going to want, well, if you don't like tan, you're not going to like this either. So, because it's a tinted moisturizer. Um, so, I think we kind of discussed. Oh, what am I talking about? I'm sorry. This is a major staple. Major, major, major staple, and the lash serum, which I will discuss with the skincare staples that I'm gonna do. But this is a major staple. You, if you can only afford one, obviously get this, but I showed the difference of when you use the primer with the mascara and when you just use the mascara, your eyelashes are more curled with this. I have a picture, you guys all saw it, it is fact. Okay, so yeah. Um, another brush that I do find to be a staple is the eyebrow kind of brush like this. Brushing out your eyebrows is key. Um, having an eyelash brush is key. Okay, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I will actually go, I think maybe what I'll do is take a picture of the items that I felt were really important to have in my personal opinion of a staple. So lip gloss. Okay, so let's go over it again. Um, some sort of a foundation, okay? You can go for one of these. If you have really oily skin, go for a pressed powder. If you like the tanned look, go for one of these. If you do not like to have any kind of powder on your face, go for this. Go for the BB cream. BB cream's great. I love it. And you can even put it on with your fingers, okay? These other two, you're going to need to have a brush. Uh, blush. Blush is super important. Get a blush, okay? Some sort of eyeshadow, okay? If anything, you can actually use bronzer and blush as eyeshadow, but get yourself some nice eyeshadow, okay? It's great to have. They're easy to use, easy to apply when you have the proper brushes, which again goes into the next thing. Get some proper brushes, okay? You do not need to go and spend like $600 on your first month of building up makeup. Take your time. This month is ideal because it's 15% off of every $96 purchase, but you know, you can take your time. It's okay. Um, next up would be 
a lip liner and a lip gloss, okay? If you're not a lipstick girl, that's totally fine. If you just want lip gloss, get a lip gloss. These lip glosses are great. Grab what you can that's available right now um, because they are retiring because they're getting reformulated. Same with the lip liners, okay? Another staple is the, what did I do with it? Do, do, do. Did I put it in the wrong spot? I did. The black eyeliner. It is phenomenal. Just go and do your upper waterline with it, and it brings your eyeshadow look just up so much. Where this, with just mascara, you're even good to go. Like, it looks so good, okay? All right, so I will take a picture of it, but that is my opinion on what I feel are staples, okay, guys? So, I will be doing a skincare one also. Um, but feel free to ask me any questions at any time. I love all this stuff and thanks so much for watching. All right. Bye. Oh, no.